about ready to get started. And I uh, wanted to, uh, just to touch base on a couple of things before we Thank get you. going. Um, we do have a large audience coming in today. And as a result of that, uh, we're going to try to stay right on time um, so that we can uh, be able to be responsive to questions at the end of today's webinar. Uh, first of all, by a quick show of hands, can, uh, can everybody um, on that, on that and hear our audio at this point? There is a chat box on the bottom. You can, you can chat in. There's also an area to ask questions. Uh, and we'll be uh, responding to those at the end. OK, cool. So a couple of you have responded, so I, I know that the audio is working on this end. So thanks a lot for that. Um, just wanted to thank everybody for, uh, for joining us today. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is actually the sixth in a, uh, a, an ongoing series of webinars that we're looking to present. Uh, if you've missed any of the previous ones, they are available as a, uh, a podcast on the Creative Stage Lighting website. So you can just go to uh, creativestagelighting.com. Uh, we actually have one by today's presenter that was recorded earlier, uh, actually last September. Uh, and then we've had several others on uh, converging technology, on uh, LED uh, 101, uh, and a couple of other pertinent topics. Um, before we begin, uh, just a couple of housekeeping issues I wanted to cover. At the start of our program, we'll be asking you several polling questions. And these are anonymous. Uh, they're just ba basically ways for us to gauge the audience, uh, maybe do some customization of the presentation. Uh, I'll be popping up polling questions shortly. They're multiple choice. By submitting your answers, you'll provide information to us that'll that'll help us meet your needs better. Uh, also, at the end, there's a, uh, there's a there'll be a question and answer session. You do have the ability to type in your questions. Uh, we may not be able to be proactively answering them during the course of the uh, the webinar, just based on uh, the time allowed. Uh, but we will be trying to get to as many of those at the end as we possibly can. Um, the other thing I will mention to you is that at the end of the webinar, once we conclude, uh, you will be asked to fill out a brief survey. Uh, basically, all the survey is is to give us information on what you would like to see in regards to future topics, uh, because we're try constantly trying to uh, come up with new subjects and, and tailor things to, uh, to meet your needs. Uh, so all that being said, uh, before I get into the introductions, uh, I'd just like to go into a couple of polling questions here for you. Uh, so the first one is, how much experience do you have working with lighting? And if you can just go ahead and select an answer, 0 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 10, or 10 plus years, uh, that'll just give us an idea of the, uh, of the scope of the audience. And we'll give you about 30 seconds to, uh, to complete that, um, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next one. Go ahead and we'll close that one. Um, basically, uh, response that we got back uh, for, for everybody's uh, edification is uh, we've got about 10% of the audience with 0 to 1 year experience, 21% with 1 to 3, 25% with 3 to 5, 17 with 5 to 10, and 27% with 10 or more. So a pretty broad spectrum uh, regarding the overall um, size of the audience or the, the scope of the audience. Okay. Um, with that, I think what we'll do is that gives us an idea of, of, of a little bit about who you are and what you're about. Uh, what I'd like to do is, uh, is get into some uh, brief introductions. Hang on one second, please. Okay. Uh, today's, our, our guest speaker today is a recognized industry ex expert, Richard Kadena. Richard is a distinguished 20-year veteran of the lighting industry. He's the editor of PLSN Magazine and a freelance lighting designer specialing in green design. As editor of PLSN Magazine, he has his finger on the pulse of the industry and is a portal for industry news and information, talking regularly with the movers and shakers um, in the industry. He's written a number of books, including Automated Lighting, The Art of Science and Moving Light, Lighting Design for Houses of Worship, Focus on Lighting Technology, 
and his latest work, Electricity for the Entertainment Electrician and Technician. Uh, that'll be available uh, March 4th, and uh, you, can, you can take a look at that on the, uh, the PLSN Bookstore at plsnbookstore.com. Uh, in addition, Richard is a certified entertainment electrician and a recognized ETCP trainer and conducts seminars all over the country. Uh, he's generously offered his knowledge and his time in helping us to develop this series. Uh, so please join me in welcoming Richard Kadena. Thank you, Kevin, and thank you, everybody at Creative Stage Lighting and everybody who's joined the webinar. I do appreciate you guys being here, and girls. You know, the other day I was at a, um, a show. Let's get caught up on our slides here. The other day I was at a show. I was sitting near the front of the house, and there were a couple of guys there, young guys, and they were watching the show. They are really, you know, getting into it. And during the break, I heard them talking. And they were looking over at the front of the house. There was an audio area. There was a lighting area. And they were talking amongst themselves. And they were kind of got into this argument about which would be cooler. Would it be cooler to run the lights, or would it be cooler to run the audio? And uh, they're going back and forth. And finally, one of them turns to his girlfriend. And he goes, well, what do you think? And this real pretty little girl says, but the lights are so pretty. And the two guys look at each other, and they go, Oh, I get it. Chicks dig lighting. And all of a sudden, their futures had been determined right there on the spot. Well, I don't know if chicks dig lighting or not. I, I kind of like lighting myself. And if you have a passion for lighting, then you can, uh, you can go far in the industry with a little bit of uh, hard work and application. There's a lot of people in this industry who don't have formal training. If you have the opportunity to go to college and study lighting, I would highly recommend it. Because I think uh, studying lighting in college gives you an opportunity to totally immerse yourself for at least four years in the lighting environment. And uh, I'm currently reading this book called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. And he talks about some of the most highly successful people in the world and how they got there. And one of the things that they have in common is that they all have at least 10,000 hours of whatever it is they do. For example, Bill Gates. Um, programmed computers for about 10,000 hours before he got really good. The Beatles played in Hamburg for many years and got really, really good before they came to America and got huge. Um, Michael Jordan, Michael Phelps spent 10,000 hours in the pool before he won his gold medals. So the idea here is to practice as much as you can and get as many hours under your belt as you possibly can. The other thing that uh, I would like to encourage you to do is to ask questions, even during the course of this webinar. We may not be able to get to them all, but I think it's a good habit to get into to um, ask questions. Don't have any inhibitions about it, because nobody knows everything. There was a former prime minister of England named Benjamin Disraeli who once said, the fool wonders, the wise man asks. So don't be a fool. Go ahead and raise your hand and ask your question. Uh, we already did the poll questions. I thought that we had some real interesting results there. We have a ver very broad spectrum of people in this webinar. So with that being said, let's get underway. Um, if you are tackling a lighting project, there are certain goals that you want to achieve. And you want to set out these goals from the start so that you know what you're working towards. These are some of the things that that you have to take into consideration. You have to take into visibility. Can you see the subject? That's number one. 